There she is. Man, oh man, she is stunning. So friends, the exciting news I have for you all today is that I welcomed home one of my favorite snake species. This is the red-sided garter snake, and it's a subspecies of the common garter snake, and it exhibits beautiful red and blue coloration as an adult animal. Yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be showing you how I set her up, and we're going to be moving her into the enclosure and letting her settle in. So I'm so thrilled to introduce this animal to you all today, and I hope you're as excited as I am. Now, what I do need to do before we proceed with the video is show my thanks and appreciation to Adam, who is the gentleman who produced this beautiful animal. Adam was so accommodating over the past few months due to the fact that when I purchased this girl, I was not expecting to be unable to go pick her up before leaving from my trip to BC, to which he was so kind to offer to keep her for me. I did offer to compensate him for room and boarding, if you will, but he insisted that that would be fine, only to have me email him back, let him know that I now had to travel to Minneapolis for the snake discovery build off, and he again was generous enough to allow me to come and get her after getting back from that trip. So Adam, thank you so much. That was truly too kind and generous of you. You know, if I bought that animal, it was my responsibility and you shouldn't have had to take care of her for me. You went above and beyond and that means so much. I'm so excited to welcome this girl into my home. If you guys are looking for some garter snakes, definitely hit up Adam. He is the guy to go to for sure. Okay everybody, it's time to set up the enclosure. These are two ceramic dishes. I'm going to use one for food dish and one for water dish. I have a bunch of cork bark flats for the scaping materials I want to use for this neonate, as well as a tube here that will provide shelter and a hide sense of security for the animal. Next, I have a few artificial plants that I'll also be adding for security and basking areas. Here we have a piece of that artificial fish wall retaining rock thing that I've used in my croc skink enclosures and that's going to add an extra cave. For substrate, I have some Exoterra Equatorial forest floor leaves as well as a sort of ABG mix for the substrate itself. I think this is going to go really well. And then we have our terrarium here. It is a 10 gallon, I believe, or it might be a 15 even. And what I love about this terrarium is it has the locking lid mechanism. So it locks in place, slides in, and clicks closed, preventing the snake from escaping. And there's no gap large enough for the animal to escape, which is very important because garter snakes and snakes in general are escape artists, and we do not want that. So perfect. Let's get to work. guys so as i was just saying adam was so kind to take care of my animals for so long so i just went to starbucks he said that, that was his favorite uh type of coffee and got him a little gift card so he won't be having to pay for his next few coffees but yeah you know doing things like that just goes a long way it can show people 
how much you appreciate them, you know? Just take the time to do those little things. Truly, again, he took care of the snake that I purchased from him for a few additional months, and he really didn't have to do that. I don't want it to go unnoticed. Truly, Adam, thank you. So we're ready to go now, and we're gonna go pick up our beautiful new red-sided garter snake. I'm so excited to have this Infernalis in my pet family. Let's go. <laughs> Now that we're actually closer to where Adam lives, grabbed him a coffee too. We're just about there. Okay, everybody, I just met with Adam and here she is. Man, oh man, she is stunning. I cannot wait to show you guys more closely when we get home. But well, let's drive back now. I don't want to stress her out. So I'm just gonna put her in my backpack here. Nice, dark, safe space until we get back. Okay, everybody, here she is. Isn't she incredible? Hey, girl. Very inquisitive, I might add. Hello, little girl. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. You want a piece of worm? Let's see if she's hungry. Adam said that she would probably be quite hungry and want to eat, so I did actually cut a few little pieces of earthworm. I know that's really creepy. Um, let's see. If she'll take a piece. Well, she's uh, clearly enthusiastic about her enclosure. <laughs> I'd love to see that. Hey, girl. You'll go in there soon. Don't worry, don't worry. How about we try and feed you, okay? Okay, let's see what she does. Do you want this? Would you like to eat this? So, as you guys can see, she wasn't really interested in eating, which is totally understandable. Normally, I wait a few days before offering food to my animals, you know, gives them a good amount of time to settle in and get used to their new environment, but figured we'd give it a try. For today's question of the day though, I'd like to ask you all what you think we should name this beautiful snake. I'll create a poll with the top four or five most liked name suggestions, and we'll go from there. So definitely offer your suggestions, and I'll give them a heart. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Gently place her in. There she goes, in her new home. Well, I think we're gonna give her a few days to settle in here. And that is it. I'm so excited to have this stunning animal, friends. I'm gonna get my heat lights on top. As I've mentioned in the past, she has access to 6% Arcadia UVB as well. And we'll go from there. I think she's gonna really thrive in here. Okay guys, so I know it's kind of gross, but I've chopped a little piece of worm here and we are now going to see, we're now going to see if she might like to eat. It's been a day. I just want to check if she's hungry. She was just basking earlier. Here she is. She's hiding under there. Hey girl. There we go. Yes. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. She got it. I think she wants more. Let's give her some more. <laughs> that's so funny. There you go. Seems to be enjoying it a lot. Now in the future, we're going to be giving her her worms in the feeding dish, that is under here. Because garter snakes can be sort of messy eaters, we don't want her dragging it through the substrate and ingesting any of that. Crazy how fast they eat. Takes like two seconds. Perfect. Okay. I think we're good to leave her be. I'm gonna put her wood back into the enclosure and I'm sure she'll do some basking to digest her tasty meal. 
Friends, as you can see, this girl has clearly made herself at home. She's basking, taking advantage of that elevated artificial plant that gets her nice and close to the basking site. What more could I ask for this early on in owning her? She knows what she's doing, she's comfortable, and she's loving every bit of the enclosure. I see her exploring all the time, and I'm thrilled that she's as comfortable as she is being a smaller garter snake. So, can't wait to share more in the upcoming months. This animal is absolutely beautiful. And definitely don't forget to answer today's question of the day because I'd love to get your suggestions on a name for her. It's going to be a lot of fun deciding as a community. Well, friends, there you have it. I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching today's video. I'm so stoked. I still can't get over it. This has been a dream animal I've wanted for so long. So, yeah, I think that'll go really, really smooth. If you want to see more videos pertaining to my pet snakes, because I now have two of them, check out this place up above. And yeah, we'll definitely have to do an update on Kiera soon, because she's grown quite a lot since we've seen her, and she's doing fantastic as well. Awesome, guys. Take care.